All right, guys, Captain CA back here with Flats Class YouTube. And today's, well, tip or special tactic that I want to share with you is going to be how are you going to overcome these windy and breezy conditions this spring and still have a great day on the water? Well, if you remember uh, a couple of two weeks ago or so, I was out with uh, two characters, if you will. This pair was something else. I had Lucas from Miami and I had uh, Monkey Mike from Pembroke Pines. And these two guys like to fish together down in Biscayne, but they came up and fished three days with me. Well, one of those days, a brutally windy. In fact, this entire spring has been like crazy breezy and windy. So how do you beat those types of conditions without just saying, hey, I'm not gonna go today? Um, there are a few ways. I mean, there are the, the obvious tactics. Hey, we're gonna compress the zone. We're gonna fish behind the islands, this, that, and the other thing, power pole a lot and beat it. But in my area, in my zone that I fish a lot, especially this time of year, March, April, we have low tides and the fish like to sit out in these open zones and you have to be able to get out there and catch them. So there's a couple of different, um, I'm gonna say, ideas that you can utilize to make that, uh, that windy day a banner day for you catching fish. I'll share with you one before I let you go see some of the action that Mike and Lucas had. But uh, one of them is employing a drift sock. That's right, a drift sock. This is a big one, 36 inches. Now I have a small skip. This thing would probably slow down a bay boat, a small 20 to 22 foot bay boat. But my skiff moves pretty quick across the water unless I'm able to slow it down. Some of you guys that use John boats might throw a five gallon bucket over the side. There's lots of ways to incorporate drift sock fishing. Uh, I know the Texas guys use it quite a bit, but these nice drift socks are easy to manage. They've got a little yellow tag here that lets you collapse it. You can fold them up and stuff them in something and then put them in a hatch and you're done. So the drift sock works really well for me, but there's a couple of baits that's going to make your day on the water a lot better when you're dealing with breezy conditions. I'm going to go in the shop and grab a few of those. While I'm doing that, you go fishing with Monkey Mike and Lucas and see how well they did. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. This is a straight retrieve. He's coming to you, my friend. Wow. Nice oh, trout. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Big ins. Big ins. Wow. I'm shocked how big that trout is. Look at that, he's taking that whole damn paddle tail in. Wow. So these are five inch paddle tails and he pretty much inhaled, inhaled this one. That's big crazy. paddle tail, yeah. I mean a big paddle tail. Fix that so the hook gap is a little bit better okay. and I'll release this one. Okay. This one's probably close to 20 inches. And in it goes. Look at the size of that crowd. That's on a six inch darter, these big baits. That's the biggest one. That's the biggest one. That is a nice trout. I mean, 
Nice one there. Beautiful trout. All right. Looks nice. About got us in double digits now. Thanks to that. The old drift saw. Oh, nice fish. Really nice fish. All on the big five inch diesel minnow. Oh. And he goes. <laughs> was trying to control him, but he wouldn't let me have it. Just pulling that tail down just a little bit. Might have to put you on uh, some type of chin locks. Lucas has got a good one here. That thing was right next to the boat too. It was right here. Whoop. Beautiful fish. That one's a little smaller than that last one you caught, but still a nice fish. <laughs> and he goes. All right, we're back. Hopefully you enjoyed the action with Lucas and Mike in the first half of our day. Trust me, we've got better stuff coming after this tackle talk. All right, let's talk about the baits that you, you really need to consider utilizing when you have these breezy, turbid water conditions where you're trying to cover water as fast as you can and you're really not sight fishing anymore. You know, you've got kind of overcast skies, you've got lots of light being diffused because of all the wave action. So, and you need something heavy enough where you can throw across the wind, uh, into the winds at times, and then combat the fact that if you have too light a bait, your bait kind of swings out of the way. So Mike and Lucas are two, well, really different anglers style-wise when you have them in the boat. You know, I had Lucas seated because I didn't want him standing in those types of conditions. And Mike is a lot more sure-footed and he's he's standing on my bow and he's just swinging like there's no, no tomorrow. Here are the baits that we used. With Mike, I knew he was going to have some serious range for me, especially throwing across the wind, and he would be able to locate the fish. And once we could locate the fish, then I could power pole down. But we used the drift anchor to move us around. So I had Mike throwing this. This is a 5-inch diesel minnows. This is in the bad shad color. It's a fantastic big bait, big thumpy tail, covers tons of water, just tons of water, and produces better than average fish. You'll catch all three species on this, including the fourth species, which probably would be tarpon uh, in our area here. But these big baits let you fish fast. And I had him reeling it pretty fast because that was like the last week of March. Now, it was a little bit different when I was fishing with Lucas. Lucas, I was only having him throw on the downwind drift. He was throwing 90 degrees to the boat. And I was just having them pop this bait along. Again, large bait, six inch darters, a very big target. I had his Texas rig because we were drifting to the bait and there was a good chance if he couldn't keep up with the drift because I had him constantly really and popping it every once in a while that he would get hung up. So I put it on a three-aught chins lock hook. This is a one-eighth of an ounce or one-twelfth of an ounce weighted hook, keel weighted hook, and it got good results for, uh, for Lucas. But between this particular bait and this bait, five and six inch baits, we had a good day on the water. And you're gonna catch the rest of it right now. It was all over. If that's a trout, that's gonna be an unbelievable trout. You think so? I don't think so. All right, we gotta come down and get that. That's, that's the biggest trout of the day now. <laughs> That is the biggest trout of the day. You okay? Yeah. Just trying to get to it fast. Oops, sorry. Oh, I got to get the net out. Come here. 
buried it under all of our shit. Look at the size of this trout. Holy cow, this trout's gonna be like six pounds. <laughs> it is. Things like a snook. Look at that trout. Wow! Look at that trout. That trout, I tell you guys, that trout, that trout's gonna be, well, when he's laying flat, he's gonna be probably 24 inches long at least. That is a trout. Damn. Caught, oops, sorry. Okay. Caught on a. Oh, caught on a darters. Look at that. Caught on the, caught on the darters. Getting close to, uh... That's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'll, I'll drift up in the bushes. Let's just get a picture with this guy. You got him? Yeah. Wow. That is a trout. That is a trout. <laughs> He's up front. He did get the red. He got a red. Oh no. Then Go under. Right I shouldn't be in front of you. I gotta do the side. That's a nice fish. You got it. Nice. Damn, you know what you needed to do? You should have ate a sandwich a long time ago, yeah. Lucas. This is gonna be a really I mean a really stud red here. It's gonna be a good one. Under the boat, you're okay. Lift your rod up. There you go. Holy oh, shit. It's a it's it. it's a good one. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. It, don't you hate that, Lucas, when your partner tries to knock your fish off so you can't get it? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's all yeah. I can say. Just wow. <laughs> Just wow. Nice. nice. The man. Lookie, lookie. The man. I was I was pulling up stakes, getting ready to drive out of here, and you stung one. We already started. You already started the motor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. That's a trout. It'll be unbelievable. That thing is rolling there. That is a fired up snook. Ho. Oh. The darters was a good change. This is going to be the, uh, my fish of the week, if I get it here. The darters was a good change. This thing is a running son of a gun. <laughs> it's a snook. I see the big yellow fins. It's another big snook. Been on fire this week, dude. Coming to Lucky Luca. You can eat lunch and nut big fish too. Beauty. Beauty. This segment sponsored by Wawa Sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. We'll come down and get a photograph with that's that guy. Part, that's part about that. You just told me to cast. I just told you to cast there. I was like, man, there's a lot of flashing going on. There's gotta be, gotta be a game fish in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of these mouths real quick and then once the green touches us, then, then we'll run. And I'll have enough water to run back without getting hurt. I'll tell you what, those two guys, they, they've got to rank. Monkey Mike and Lucas have to rank in the top two or three characters, you know, fish and buddy pairs I've ever had on my skiff in 24 years of guiding. It's just, they're amazing. And they get great results, even in challenging conditions like we had in that episode. If you like what you see here, if you're learning, if you're really learning, and you enjoy this channel, subscribe. I want you guys to subscribe. I really need you guys. And give us that thumbs up. Share it with your fishing buddies. Uh, we're wanting to add more and more sponsor partners, and we can't do that without all of you. All right, well, I'm here at the barn. I've got to pull my mower out, my riding mower out, and I've got to start cleaning up the yard because we've got company this weekend. 
But I thank each and every one of you for tuning into the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.